Hi guys, and welcome to Things to Come with Changes 22. Now, I know you're seeing some pictures on the screen. You're probably wondering what type of picture that if you're a minister, how we know people love church. But I found these pictures in my Gmail. I thought I had deleted them and I never even know I did back them up in my Gmail and stuff. And I was watching a video last night, which I'm going to share with you. And in this video, I found myself crying because it spoke to the depths of my spirit, man. And it led me back to this photo, led me back to some memory, led me back to some things, and led me back to realize that Jesus Christ has always been fighting for this girl. That it wasn't no coincidence that I was alive. And the things that I gone through was heart aching and as painful as they were, Jesus was with me. And I decided that my testimonies can never be too much. And though you see some on Shane a power talk, and if you have not seen it, go and take a look. I'm going to put the picture here. And even though I share that, I still believe that there's so much that was not shared and even when I share this I still feel like me not share enough so I decide to do this one not even as a video because people the way I made it feel last night after I watched that the video day I decided that I don't want to know pretty up and no video I just want to post some picture because in a picture there's a million words and then I have other words to add to it so I did this one like a little mini documentary of what I've been through with pictures to explain the pain explain the visionary explain what i proclaim and show you the power and the might of jesus christ the man himself oh he was working in my life before i chose christ before i recognized before i was raising up Reverted and revitalized when I was victimized, when I was undermined, when I was being attacked. And let me tell you, I want you to follow this, follow through, put call up everybody you can call up because this one is powerful, should not be missed. This ain't no jokes, it's like a limbo of my life up and down. It is like going through the phases and the stages and thinking it's just life just like some of you are doing right now your things say oh I just life still so life have it up and down not a life and the devil been attacking me the devil been attacking me through people I'm up, I'm down, I'm up, I'm down, I'm, I'm back and forth, I'm slim and fat, I'm pretty, I'm ugly, I'm, I'm looking okay and I look pop down. And this was just a cycle for many years. This was a cycle for many years. And it, I didn't recognize that there was such a thing called failure at the age of break too. Every time I was about to break out, I found myself going back to square one starting from scratch. Every time I was about to break out the principalities and the powers in the region because that is a community where nobody from that community ever come out to none. Nobody. We are I'm gonna tell us something now. I don't like nobody not anyway ambitious. You have all Tiffany James or make it all a, we're, um we call that overseas around tracks and field and she held the junior world record and all of a sudden she just Jump off a farm because in this life you can't make it on your own, but we don't know that at the time, and I know that neither. So, me get these all these opportunities, go all these places, rise and go around these great men just to find myself in some terrible near death life and death, disgusting mix up, mockery, shame, and disgrace. But I come to tell you that this, oh God, is a testimony to enlighten somebody. Who feel like they can do it on their own without Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I'm going to walk you through my testimony. I'm going to walk you through the photos. And I'm also going to share with you a video that brought me to this. And I'm going to share a powerful testimony. Listen, if you have something, do not watch this now.
Cause this need your full attention. Just keep tuned after this break. Mm -hmm. You probably wonder why you keep putting up this picture. You know why she she a pass Oh, she had to show off pan we and she has a she a Christian. No, yes, it look nice. We have to give it that. But I want you to know who I was. Now take a look at this one. You do you see a difference? I know you most so you didn't. I was going through so much. My face lost weight, my body lost weight, but I was still looking nice. That's how most pretty girls are. Because people was always trying to afflict me because I never like. Look again. Look again. Look. It's just a few months apart. One is in August, one is in December. But do you recognize that my face is slim and my body is slim? I have a smile, but can you recognize the pain in my face? People, I was never happy. I was just looking nice. I was always being attacked by somebody, some lie, some rumor, somebody a call up my name, somebody a fight me. My granny would have cost me money, noon and night over the house. I never get no peace, no literally. And because of how I looked, the girls in the area made it my life hell. They were jealous. They, they wanted to ruin me. They loved to see me down. I had no family to turn to. I had no love. So I would seek love to some various different type of man, never work out and I was still sad, still broken, still in pain and this only led to more talking, people pointing finger and of course women hate me now cause the man they want me and this was people when I'm home my grandmother would plague me, when I come down the road to smoke they would chat me and say my love road and make this and my dad people, there wasn't a place of peace for me. Now, throughout all of this, I still kept trying. Now, let's go back to 2013. Being a single mother and a high school dropout, you know, girl, on a subject, girl, got a gas station. Me used to work at a gas station, bar, and that repeated itself for a couple of years. Texaco, Bryson's Texaco was the first one on Caledonia Avenue. Then, Oxford Road, Texaco. Then, uh, Total Run and Mona. Then Ruby's done a mountain view. And they would have chat me here. Chat me go and say watch Bright Sparks. Because I'm fairly intelligent people. And I'm me everything. Do. The people are not giving me no break. When I say they're not giving me no break. Then chat me. Then tell lies. Say go ahead. I know, I know gas station workers know cashier. Because I'm going to upgrade from pump attendant to cashier. So then chat me. And say a liar. Go, go work. Me I do. One other time, my baby father called me and done me. Oh, me is a this and a that. That my daughter, father Samuel Hilton. Press button. Mm -hmm. Everybody can just tell him something and just run with it. Because they, 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 they know him. So they know say he would have plagued me and the enemy using him to plague me. The enemy using him to curse me. The people them curse me. Jealous people curse me. My granny curse me. Jesus Christ. When me say people. Peace was not my forte at the time. Let me tell you how the devil was using people to torment me. And I never knew it was a devil. I just added that I had a rough life. Hence, that is why I smoked so much. Now about in 2014, the Lord blessed me with a few good works. And I skip out some of them and I just jump to this one. Called Alter Ego and Cancel Spring Roll. On the left hand side above the school shop. I think they're not no longer there. It was I was working for somebody called Danae Donaldson or Daniel Donaldson. I dressed Aishana. I helped Fiji, which was Miss Kitty's stylist, pick out clothes for her to host Magnum on a weekly basis. We also rented clothes to the contestants of the Magnum Kings and Queens and also of the Digicel Rising Star. This led to me, you know, modeling and being in the Observer, 
you know, on the front page and things started to pick up and you can only imagine how me start shine. Shine is an understatement. And then, what am? So in that same year, <clears throat> I lost the job out of nowhere. I got fired. As I told y'all in the chain of power talk, I could keep a job. Me all day work, all butter pitch for me. All type of things. I don't need to do much. She just came in one day and said that she saw that I tinted my eyebrows in the, the building and she was firing me. Now when I'm home, things got rough. You know, a dead ear, eagle, up and down, smoke. Then I got pregnant. When I got pregnant during the pregnancy, this is 2014, I developed this thing called severe preeclampsia, which even my mother asked me, oh, you get so much sickness and sickness around another family. Because people, as I said, I thought it was life. Not knowing that jealous people, I say, yes, here's an opportunity to take her out. The devil was using these people every chance he got because I never knew that I was called. I never knew I was a chosen. I never knew I had purpose on my life. I never knew. So because of that, the devil kept attacking me and it was always an attack to try to kill me. So this picture now is one where after I lost the pregnancy because I did lose a child. This was the child, I tell you, my baby father did call. And I wish, I, I wish my baby turn sideways and my belly and this and that and that and this. And yes, he did some stuff for me to lose that baby and for me to not um, have a good relationship with another man. Because out of his anger and his jealousy, he wanted it to be a case where, look how she did nice till she left me. But the devil is a liar and the devil in him will not overpower the Holy Ghost in me. And I cancel all of those words curse. But that was what... I had experienced another downward spiral. Take a look at this picture and then take a look at this one. Because I was allergic to the medication called augmenting and flagging, I swole out of proportion. I was bumpy. I had hair under my chin. I had an allergic reaction. I was heavy. I was dizzy. I couldn't, I didn't feel well. I had to just pray to God that if He saved me, I would serve Him. And I never did. No, at the time, not even recognizing the power of God's hand upon my life. This was me three weeks after. I came out and mind you, I did a C-section. Look, pan girl. Girl look like she not even a baby. And this was me at a party a few weeks later, you know. Promise to serve God, but girl gonna party. You know, another party. Yeah, and then I got working things start pick up speedily as usual me i work again put on back weight look normal look like i never got through nothing don't it talk the truth every time god moved for me i looked like i never went through nothing i want you all to understand that god is working here say no don't underestimate the power of god because at the time i never even knew a god i never even paid much attention that i bounced back without effort and that is why these people never liked me even though it was the enemy i could see where the jealous jealousy came from but at the time i couldn't see it but let's continue now in 2016 a year a few months after which led into the new year you're not expecting to see a picture like this huh because we just pick up speedily what happened the rumors happen and the lies happen. So then tell this girl named Lizzie. So me there her man which not no gossip. Not a not no gossip. I never know that this was happening. I just realized that she start a way upon me and skin up her face and to see me and Mr. Tell my brother and my friend them. Say me want me night for walk with me car. It's a girl, yeah, I move away. I mean, we're bad people and a soft, soft girl. I don't want to play, play girl. Then my girl that's about people and go to prison and do time. And so me know so me I go go against them girl and me have a strap. And strap I meant, me not even a fling thump, but she catch me off guard and me and her put on a fight and me both sorry. This is the one I testify, but me both sorry, but as you can see, oh. the devil tried to mash up my head. The devil tried to 
So, I don't know if you go on Changes 22 on YouTube. YouTube channel called Changes 22. And there's a video on there that I'm going to post the pic of it here so you can find it easily. So you can find it easily. Go and watch it and you kind of get a better idea of what happened there. Because I kind of acted it out and stuff. And this was how I look in real life like a crash. Me did sick. Me did have gastroenteritis. I me stop for buy stuff. I me and this girl up in, end up in a fight. Yeah, me did both sorry, but people lost the fight. And all I remember asking the Lord was God, I so you're going to make me dead. Because at one point I couldn't have no strength to even fight back. I felt dizzy, I felt weak, and because I never ate for three days, because everything I ate, I vomited up back. Gastroenteritis does that. I was kind of weak after a while. I fought her strong in the beginning. I lost the fight, and what wasn't in this was a broken finger, a broken finger. Yes, so if you go back and look on the first, first pretty picture, my finger was broken, but it was healed, but the, the big, the little finger looked kind of a little bit wide and deformed, because broken that was how the enemy tried to kill me again in you know, a people and guess who'd have to save me god the man himself now let me tell you something you know so throughout all of this the girls laughed they mocked me they come up to me and some of them would have said boy i'm sorry see your face looks about all them i said that one smile from ear to ear it was mockery shame and disgrace and i felt bad and I did do some retaliation as you will see in the video. I did get upset and call in two people from two places for retaliate. But God never make it work out. And it led to some community meeting and some this and some that and some that and some this. And it settled down and who fi come involved, come involved and squash it. But nevertheless, another situation was held under control. I had to bear the suffering and the shame. But... What I want you to understand that even though I bear the suffering and the shame, more I more I show you how God end up pop up back again. Just remember how that picture you're looking up. More you realize how terrible me look. You would have never think same would have come back to normal. But me I go show you who me serve. Me I go show you why me come to Christ. And me I go show you why you need to come to him because God is a miracle worker. Me I show you that miracle now. What um look pan God. Come on, tell me, say, you can't look upon this here picture here. All this here one here. That one here right here, so my teeth broke. More you look upon this and tell me, say, you could have known, say, that was the same girl. I'm going to put back the picture. I'm going to put back the picture. Because I don't want to know, underestimate and, and deny the power of God. I want to know, realize, say, God did not stand up strong like the wall of Jericho. And this girl, like, and this girl I could have seen. I saw him in a summer on a life. I saw him saving her from some things. I want to still out there. I look for man, happiness, and da 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 da. And God have it up for you. I want to go wait till the devil take you out, man. Come, man. Come run up in a this, man. Look how oh, God good, man. Look at this again. I want to realize how I start pick up back speed again, you know. Get back at, start look back like Dali. And fleek look like me never got through nothing. Start go back a party. Start look simple and mind you people I want to remember so them time yeah, a long time days. And for girl at all back in 2015 and look like supermodel. So you need to understand say I got and I start muggle again. Look there again. Mm -hmm. Yes. Come back to the picture now. Yes, so now this is a picture you take. And I, yes, so this is your one you take you now. But then, what damn? Come back down, not nah, go on again. So, girls, start so, come I can't so, start so, my yard. This is a little piece of house, so my granny would have it fight me for. And mind you, then the time there's a can't see one little boat there back of me if it part the little door away, so I don't want to grow in a fear part. One of the time me a sipping at this here house, when I want a little piece of ply at my door, when nothing not go on, nobody ain't want it. Me have to get man help me dig down some wool of dirt if can't go in my house. If you want a whole day, my daughter, father, want you name Odin. My sister, son, help me. But as soon as in there look comfortable, they want to fight me for it. And then it no start build up your thing of people. Then my time me have to still have a little makeshift door, I make out a ply. They said ply with the lean up. We then chat me and say, oh, girl, no, no, do whoa, yeah. And then laugh after me as a little 20 year year old. We don't know mother, supporter, and a father, try life. They might go like me, should I did have it already. When me just a try life. And then, no, so they have them mother, them father can't rock to me, they have nobody. So, girl, if you go to the rough way and people, they made sure I know the devil in them, but I kept going. Look out.
me not work, you know, so me, 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 me go out on date and date. Then me a picture ya a home with a look in a me yard. Me not go nowhere yet, so. Then me a tell me a me think say tattoo was a thing. Me never know say a God, God tell us no marking on the skin. So me start to want look work again and I want look store now. Again. Yes, and as you can see, start here look weird. Yes, people, this is my natural area, so look like a weak, thick and healthy. Start go party, start buy up more things. You know, party, party, clean like whistle, you know, karaoke night with the friend them, the said people in our community. This I want to go all white party in our scheme. Funeral me that go right there, this so. And this I want to go red and black party. And mind you, I make that dress so that I left side on the right side. And then this a 2018 now, I start work at Star Tech. So, yeah, guys, this a 2018 now, I finally stop work at bar now. I stop work at gas station. I'm gonna start it now at New Kingston. Upon the Saji Corps building upstairs, elevator settings, proper settings, and girls start looking neat -o and clean -o. Start eat Burger King for lunch. As you can see me in the elevator, me a snap girl look cool, unbothered, nice, humble. Now everything start pick up the real way. Me start the music now. Me start make Hundred and a thousand every two week no no me gonna want better workplace name center field me, me fix my teeth me get out me start build my house me not in a war with people them workers them them little talking just don't matter to me no more and this is my favorite picture this one because when I look at this picture I recognize why they envied me. I know you probably wonder why, but let me break it down to you. The enemy in them recognize at this moment that I no longer fit in with them. When you look at this picture, you see a little humble, uptown, hardworking girl with her head on her body. We are trying to get our life together. So as much as I felt normal among them, if you look upon this picture, I'm not look rebel no more. I'm not look, me look different. I start wear a longer skirt. I just feel less worried about my appearance. I just felt comfortable and I just felt focused. And that is why I tell you, you can't stay around the same people when you're trying to go forward. Because at that moment, you're becoming something that is foreign to them. You're becoming someone that they are not accustomed to. They are used to you for many years as a certain type of person. Now all of a sudden, you make them feel inferior and less than without trying. Because now they recognize that you're no longer in their league nor their lane. You're no longer trying to do what they are accustomed to doing. You're trying to be better. You're trying to be a better version of you. And it's actually working. And they're there trying to figure out what is a better version of them. Some people don't know what is a better version of them. So at that moment, if you stick to the thing that tell you that, oh, death before the sun, now you now switch well, you're going to turn away for you. Because when God is changing you, you're going to have to shift. And when a shift is happening, the people around you, you have to let them go because not everybody will be able to go where God is taking you. Some just won't accept it and they will try to kill you for it. As I experienced. Here we go. So in 2020, my life took a complete U-turn. She was in the fast lane. But then, all of a sudden, irks, her life changed. No, but we really feel like your grandmother do something. Girl, I don't know what to say, but something don't right, girl. <laughs> you know you want to worry, Trisha? Transfer destiny. I'm tired, I'm not going to get up. Jesus, please repeal the enemies. Jesus Christ, I'm not going to go. Please make your father do a judgment for them for him. Jesus. One of the most severe witchcraft you could ever imagine. Now, I acted it out on my other YouTube channel at Changes 22. Please go over there and watch it to get an understanding of what happened and how I ended up into Christianity and da 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 da. 
after all that I already showed you already. It's a must watch. And also I have a little interview on Shayna Power Talk, which I showed you earlier the clip. You can watch that too and listen to that documentary. It's an extended version of this. Can't miss it. And remember to subscribe. Do not go over to we channel them and do not subscribe. In Jesus name. Now here is the video that I want you to see. I saw it last night and it altered my perception, my reality about the things that I've gone through. And it had me seeing God in a whole new light in Jesus name. And I pray it does something for you. Watch it. Then I'll elaborate. All right. So check this out. I'm about to tell you something that's going to blow some of your guys' minds. Now, I'm not supposed to tell you this because there's someone who does not want you to hear this. In fact, they might wind up taking this video down. So the moment you start to get to this point, just download it because they may take it down. But a long time ago, back in the day, I was a massive drug addict. And I had seen some stuff. I had done some stuff. And some of these drugs really did a number on me. Now, many people called us tweakers or whatnot, you know, whatever the case was. But the realization of what I saw back in them days is more real today than ever before. You see, when I used to tweak, I would see demons and spirits and they would talk to me. They would sit with me. They would hang out with me. And this would be for days at a time. Now, a tweaker wouldn't dare go and tell someone else what they've been seeing. Not unless you were another tweaker and you were talking to someone and telling them what exactly you are seeing at that very moment, right? So if you heard something like this from a tweaker, you just throw it off and say, well, it was just a chemical imbalance in your head that caused you to see things and hallucinate. That's what they told us. And for the most part, I believed it because when I sobered up, I wouldn't see these demons or spirits or whatever it was. It was only when I entered into a completely different realm. Well, today is February the 20th, I believe, 2023. And you know, I've been looking at a lot of these videos all over social media. And you want to know something? I see the same demons that I used to see when I was tweaking. And many of these people that are seeing them today and recording them with their phone are not on drugs. How do you explain that? Doctors, physicians, and medical experts would tell us that it was the hallucination of the drugs that caused us to think and see what we see. And that explained why we were the way we were. But now, what explanation is there that people are video recording them and you can see them and they're manifesting themselves into objects, into living things. How do you explain it? I'll tell you. The devil is no longer hiding. They were always there. The reason why many of us tweakers were able to see them with our naked eye is because we were half dead already. And we didn't know it. It was the grace of God that kept us alive. And we were at that thin line between life and death. 
And the reason why we were able to see every demonic spirit that we saw is because we were half dead. But God kept us alive. And now, now they're not hiding. Now people are seeing them and they're not even on drugs. You're seeing them and you're not on drugs. So guess what? These demons that they said were a hallucination, they were never a hallucination. They were always there. It took us to get so doped out to see them. But now that the devil's time is nearly up, he has surfaced. And now everyone can see them. Now, the reason why this video spoke to me and had me draft up this put together documentary here or whatever you want to call it. It's because when I heard him mention that we were half dead, it brought me in the past when I visited the Oberman and he was so-called trying to save me from what was set on me and for that day only being wide awake only i was a bit weak and you know they had to help me up onto the bed and when he said half dead it reminded me of that time because i was literally half dead and i didn't realize the fact that I was weak and they had to be lifting me up onto the bed. Yes, I was talking, yes, you know, but I was half dead. That was why I was able to see in the realms of the spirit. Because now I was out of the flesh, partially. I was half dead. So I could see the spirit which looked like a man smoking in a striped shirt. And the demon, which looked like a shadow, it looked like the silhouette of a man, but only just darkness with eyes. And that silhouette of a demon floated around without feet, just like shadowed ear, just like how Casper the Friendly Ghost would look only thing, it looked black, not white. And it sat there on the table with it and, and its chin looking at me in awe, like it was trying to reach back onto me. And I thought that the old man was saving me from this horror. Watching this video, I had to cry last night. And I had to go to Christ in serious prayer. And I had to just thank the Lord, thank the Lord, thank you, Jesus, hallelujah, praise, cry. I went on my belly and I decided that I'm going to make this video. I don't care who begs, what kind of picture I put up. And then... Because I found the picture a few days ago, not just now. But me, I wonder why we just find a picture. This is the reason. Because God don't make mistake. He wanted me to show you exactly what happened. And here it is. That Obama never saved me. It was God. It was just God in the midst of the darkness. In the midst of me being in the hands of the devil. I literally walked to the valley of the shadow of death. The reason why I was able to see in the spirit. Is because my fleshly man was dying. As a sinner. And it was God that kept me. To be able to see. No, he wasn't doing nothing for me. If God wasn't there, I wouldn't make it. Because I just realized that that spirit was dead. The demon was dead. And it was still reaching after me. Had God not come in the devil's camp for me. Had God not leave his throne and come for me. 
I wouldn't be here. And also it reminded me too of this friend named Marley Sellers. And wherever he is, I send God's angels to arrest him. Because one of the time he told me that when he was doing a brain surgery, because he had a tumor, he got so much medication that he started to see things crawling up on the wall back way. And he laughed about it many times. He told this story thinking it was just his, illu his hallucination of the drugs, not knowing that he was half dead. He died about 50%. And it was God that kept him. And the reason why he could see in the spiritual realm was because his fleshly man practically dead left him. A God show up and show off. And he thought it was anesthetics. He thought that it was anesthetics. But let me tell you something. That was not the first time I felt like I was seeing stuff and hearing in the spirit. It was the first time I could recall. How many of you are out there today? Not, God won't. I'm sorry, but the blatant truth is God will not do this for everybody. Some people have purpose. And I'm so happy I'm one of them. It's not easy. It's hard. But I'm so happy I'm one of them. Mighty God. Lest the devil would have sick me like wheat. Now what are you waiting on? what are you waiting on for the devil to come against you because you don't need no more testimony to see that life is not what it seems and there's a war for your soul and you have an enemy literally trying to take you out him not play with you him come for you by the hook or the crook And he wants you to think that this is just another story. Another story, another one, another Christian. It's not real. He's manipulating the minds of the people of this world to keep them lost and bound. But I declare and I declare in Jesus' name. Oh God Almighty, that the Lord's angel will arrest everyone who watched this video and pull them to Christ and nobody who came across the sound of my voice be it on TikTok or YouTube will leave the face of this earth in Jesus name without fully surrendering to Christ Sila please remember to subscribe please remember to share please share to save somebody out there if you hold it, it's your will. But know that God is watching you. In Jesus' name.